another episode of the very boring blog if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and be ready to listen to millennials day to day problem i'm your host director producer sound guy editor parth jawargya in this week's episode of very boring blog we have great stuff lined up for you to keep you entertained all right uh, good morning guys let me see if i can like vlog today But before we get into this video, this video is not sponsored by Gradly. Gradly is the platform we just launched to help international students. You might be coming to the US and you might be thinking about your masters. So if you're thinking about masters and if you're thinking about all the problems you're going to have, for example, loans, vaccinations, health insurance, GRE prep, we have this amazing one-stop shop called Gradly. Go down below in the description. We are going to leave a link and you can check it out there. In the first segment of this very boring vlog, Parth himself is talking about if he'll be able to finish this vlog or not. I'm planning to make a video tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be able to wake up or not. It's 2:30 a.m. Hopefully, I sustain this thing. Do not get demotivated tomorrow, which actually happens a lot of times. Um, since I can't hold this rig out, ah, uh, you see this rig out? It's like a big tripod, and then there's a camera. Yeah. By the way, uh, some new upgrades to the room. I think I didn't show you this yet. Uh, I bought this chair for ten bucks. Uh, we have some clippings from the next day as well, where he decided to pick up his camera and vlog and not to cry about it. Anyway, I just have to have breakfast, but uh, I would prefer like brushing my teeth first. All right. So for my breakfast, I usually take like a bowl of cereal and um, and some bread and cheese. If I don't have an option, like, but I prefer eggs as well. So as of right now, I just have bread and I just have milk, which means I I have to go grocery shopping at Walmart very very soon. Uh, we just finished like a two hours meeting for a course we are taking, uh, CE 597. Breakthrough thinking in complex processes and we had to brainstorm some ideas. So we just finished that. I feel like I'm getting a like, job interview pitch kind of thing. If you want, I, I'm up for that. Like, I can get you one. That's Finn. That's Harrison. That's a joke. All right, not very sure how much you can hear me, uh, but I'm walking back from the Noi building of technology. That's the building where I sit usually. I had a meeting with a couple of my friends and I'm walking back now. This is how Lafayette looks. Super chilled, small houses, nothing big, very, very complex. Unlike if you move to Chicago, unlike move you, you move to New York where you see all the cars moving all the time. That doesn't really happen here. I really like that house right here and you might remember that stop sign from one of the, my videos uh, yeah, that's pretty much it dude like nothing happens here uh, if I do something yeah I'll surely show uh, uh, wait I'll show you really quick I have to cross the road first so uh, wait you see it's, it's, it's there it's there somewhere it's a part of Wabash Heritage Trail and I walked here once like while it was snowing and there was snow all over here uh, but now it looks much better because early it was just snow and there are some ducks here as well Republic Day was last week and we celebrated Republic Day at Purdue as well According to a survey, 95% of the students' motivation to go to that celebration was because of the samosas served after the program there here is some clippings from that. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Naveen Mutin and I represent IGAS. So IGAS stands for Indian grad students at Purdue. It's one of the one of the biggest Chinese student, grad students being the largest okay. IGAS being the second largest student organization here. Um, the events that we arrange starts from Diwali, recently so Saraswati Puja, we organized Republic Day where people can intermingle, can know each other, can socialize because I know grad studies are quite stressful. So this is more of a fun club kind of thing and I think if you can have a discussion about it. 
You might be wondering how it is like to study in Purdue and what are the classes looking like. Pat actually picked up his camera and took it to the class on Friday and recorded some of the clippings. Okay, it's Friday morning. I have a class um, around 9:30. I came in early, took the bus at 9. I'm here at 9:10. I'm just waiting for the class to start now. There's nothing, nothing I have to do. Um, I came in a little bit early, so I'm gonna show you the classroom. This is how it looks like. Also need some coffee. I'm going to hand over the mic to Path and he can talk about the weather and how he cannot stop complaining about the weather all the time. The weather has been pretty awesome for a while now. Uh, summers are coming back hopefully. But I just saw the temperature tomorrow or day after it's like minus 2 so it's going down. I cannot understand how the weather works here and like it fucks you up. Uh, the weather is pretty cold. It was warm a couple of days ago. Uh, pretty cold outside, minus 14 degrees. Which is which is pretty cold uh, compared to what was what was the temperature two days ago where it was warm and how the vlog started as well. It's okay. Hey Google, what is the temperature? All right, uh, it's it's still okay. And how can we complete this video's episode without the most famous guy, the celebrity on this channel? Oh, Wait, I mean, he got an interview. Say hi. Ah, nice. Hi. Wait. See you, that's it. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I hope you liked this video. Um, I had fun shooting this video. And if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to my channel. Check out Gradly. We did put a lot of effort in. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm going to leave the link of the Facebook groups and Gradly as well in the description. Go check it out. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And until then, I'll see you next time.